I'm up bright and early. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to like depuff my eyes because I think we slept four hours. Yeah, five. Stop I think. Just killing me. We got up at five thirty, roughly, and we got the sunrise for you guys. So in a second, we'll show you the sunrise. But welcome to day two. Uh, we had a really great day one, full of activities. L loving the ship so far. Uh, we're excited for today because we have the a new experience for us. We have the iFly, mm -hmm. and that should be interesting. We saw a lot of people struggling to like get higher in the tube, so a lot of people like didn't know how to like position their bodies. So I'm assuming we'll be one of those. Um, we're gonna go get some coffee. We picked mm -hmm. up our coffee cards uh, in. Uh, later before we headed off to uh, our rooms for the night. We're thinking we'll do the main dining room or the windjammer, we're not sure, but uh, let's start with the coffee, big time. Mm -hmm. It was really nice having the balcony beautiful um because yeah not only that i didn't have to like run to the top i could just do the sunrise from our balcony which was yeah beautiful mm -hmm. and i literally jumped out of bed and just <laughs> hopped on and it was we, just glorious not only that the ship was like oh yeah we are really going back and forth <laughs> which is funny it doesn't seem that bad like when you look out the window but no, it's just we are funny we're really moving our sea legs again yeah. oh, God. And, and we forgot to mention we, where we're going <laughs> Yes. <laughs> we're going to Alaska, and we're going to Sitka, Juneau, Juneau. Skagway, Ketchikan, Ketchikan, the Dawes Glacier. and the Dawes Glacier. This is a really high value cruise, and we're on the Ovation, so a lot of times you get like a smaller one like the Rap City or something like that, but we get the Ovation, and sometimes the Quantum comes, so I would recommend seeing if you can get one of those. Okay, what deck are we going to? Uh, we are going to... What are, we going to, are we going to 14, 14 to Windjammer or? Yeah, let's. Check out the Windjammer if it looks good. Oh, we'll coffee stay. first. Oh, God. Oh, my God. How do... Oh, the Asplanade. Okay. Crazy me. We're going to five. Yeah, we're uh, back to the stair routine here. Yes. We find that. I think the Carnival one just had too many decks, maybe. <laughs> uh, we were up so high there was 18 decks and we were on like what deck five or something yeah so, so it was a little ridiculous this one's a little more reasonable mm -hmm. the pool deck is deck 14. yeah and we're on so, deck 12 so it's come on it's not yeah it's, it's not too bad so it's just going like down to five isn't so bad it's coming up from five but you know what we need to yeah this, this cruise is a sweater cruise so you can like <laughs> hide behind your sweaters so yeah we, we didn't come in good to take the stairs yeah we yeah. did not come in good <laughs> so on the ovation uh the coffee place that you get is called the patisserie and it's not the cafe promenade that you would normally go to so because this isn't a promenade it's an esplanade right they have the cafe promenade here though i don't Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh. So, well, they just have a separate coffee place. <laughs> Cut off someone's leg to be able to eat that sugar glazed donut. <laughs> or that almond croissant. Yeah, they can't have any of this because it's not gluten free, but... It is paid for as well. Um, so we probably won't get anything, but... In our history of cruising, it always looks better than it tastes. Yeah, so. these look pretty good though. All good? All good. Yeah, he because we had our cards mixed up, so my card says Ryan. Oh, yeah. So your order has my name, and my order has your name, and then he was like, oh, I'll just switch the cups, and then he was like, oh, I can't switch the cups, because then it's going to like mess up all our orders. I was like, it's okay, I'll be Ryan today. Yeah, I got Hey, the... everyone, what's up? I'm Ryan. I'm Ryan and Kayla. <laughs> You're so cool. <laughs> I got the venti white mocha. White mocha. I th you were going back and forth there between the caramel macchiato and the white mocha. What made you go white mocha? Just got to stick to what you know sometimes, you know? Caramel Oops. macchiato probably has a lot of calories too. Everything on the cruise ship has a lot of calories. Yeah. And? Mm. It's pretty good. Not as good as I remember though. Let me no. try. Yeah. I don't like coffee, Is but... Is that gluten free? Um... I mean, it's white chocolate sauce. Okay, so go ahead. Probably, Try. I'm just gonna take like it's yep. gonna touch my tongue basically. I remember it being a little more sugary. I just hate coffee. I don't know how you guys drink yeah. it. I remember it being more sugary. I was saying. Oh really? Yep. 
bit of a line for the yeah. windjammer today. Yeah, and everyone had the same idea as us. This is the early bird getting the worm. <laughs> I think we decided to come to the jammer because... Mostly because the dining room's not open yet. Until 7.30. Yeah, and we already ate there yesterday, so we want to just see what the jammer has. Yeah, we haven't been in the windjammer. No, we went to a dining room yesterday. I know, I'm just saying we haven't been in the windjammer yet. I know, so we have to see A, do they have a gluten-free section for me? B, what's the setup like? Because the windjammer's either hit or mess, so. And there's supposed to be that area in the back we should check out. Oh yeah, apparently there's like a beautiful sit uh, outdoor seating area, so. Bacon and some avocado and toast. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, it's like you know the royal buffet it is always like very consistently solid. I mean, I know you're gonna talk about yourself in a second here, but it's a good like you know quick little meal. Yeah. So there is no designated gluten-free area on the ship, which kind of sucks, but they're labeled, so I knew the eggs were gluten-free, the fruits obviously gluten-free, the potatoes didn't say gluten-free, but I'm gonna just brisk it. They're a little bit cold, um, but not bad. I think um, I would probably get an omelet made next time, like a fresh one. Yeah, the omelet station is usually the way to go. Yeah. As far as uh, wind jammers go, this is probably one of the nicer ones I've been in. They have these, like, down the side, they have like these huge windows, like floor ceiling windows. Obviously, because, you know, if it does Alaska frequently, or if it's like built for this, these kinds of cruises, that makes sense, but it's just beautiful. Oh wow, I didn't realize like how cold it was till we <laughs> came outside, because it looked, yesterday was so hot, mm -hmm. and we came outside, and I was like, oh okay, my god. Okay, we're on our way we're to Alaska We're on our way to Alaska, <laughs> yeah. And the ship is moving, check this oh out. The gosh, pool is this like thrashing. Pool. It's crazy. Yeah. I'm and surprised there's not kids trying to get in there. <laughs> yeah, if you look behind us, it like probably doesn't even realize no. like that it, we're going up and down, but. Yeah, we are. We're like smacking into the walls. <laughs> yeah, it's funny walking through the wind jammer because everyone's bumping into each other, bumping into the walls. It's funny. Yeah, we don't get uh, seasick or anything like that, but uh, the, we had a, a rough one on the enchantment once cool. and it kept us up at night. That was probably the, the most annoyance, but mm -hmm. yeah, we're fine with the movement, but uh, if you're not, then uh, go ask us services. They got some uh, like uh, gravel kind of like patches, patches you can get and uh, some I forget the name of the... Yeah, some medicine, basically, we'll just call it. They have some... Some non-drowsy... What is it called? Sick. Motion sickness, like, kind of stuff for you. Someone else was saying that they uh, got a bracelet or something. Um, I don't know if they work. I've never needed them, but if the, if it's something you're worried about, I'd do some research. Make sure you come prepared. Yeah, for sure. I think we're headed over to the Solarium. We're going to look at the Solarium Bistro and potentially go in the hot tub, maybe get a mimosa or something. If they let us in the hot tub, we'll see. We'll see yeah, if it's it should be better up. inside, but I guess we'll find out together. Yeah. You're cozy there, Kayla. I'm so comfortable. This is nice in here, eh? It's so pretty in here. Like, I don't think I'll ever leave here. Yeah. It's like I'm outside because there's trees and stuff everywhere, but I'm inside. I'm almost hot, like, almost too yeah, hot. Yeah, this is a warm one here. Check out Kayla over here. Some 
serious, serious fashion statements here with the sweatpants. You are looking very stylish. Sweatpants, bathing suit, flip flops, toque, knitted sweater. Yeah. <laughs> what to pack for Alaska, guys? Yeah. Wear your sweatpants. <laughs> Honestly, it's so great. <laughs> and a toque. Yeah. And a toque. Honestly, the toque is just. I don't know. I'm from Canada. I wear a toque like nine months of the year. So. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> or a well, beanie. I don't know what they call it. Yeah. I call it a toque. We took some great naps on, yeah. on these couches here that they have, or I guess they're like little beds, little beds. in the nice. solarium. And I think we're actually going to go to the like Lido deck hot tub, potentially. So it'll be like cold and hot. It's and, crazy because uh, it's 9 a.m., but it feels like it's like 2 p.m. I know, right? Oh my god, it's only 9 a.m. That's crazy. I know. We've already eaten breakfast and had coffees. And took Dude. a nap. And had a nap. <laughs> um, okay, so let's head back out to the Lido deck and kind of see if anyone's even out there or if it's too cold to be out there to begin with. But it's I, sunny, so. Yeah, maybe it's gotten better. We'll see. We stopped here at the Sunshine Bar in the Solarium, though. Got to get some mimosas. They do it with freshly squeezed orange juice, too. So those diamond vouchers really pay off. I mean, the mimosas are 12 bucks, so getting that for free. It's awesome. A really interesting fact that I just learned I want to share with you guys was that the uh, you're not allowed any announcements or music on the outside pool. Not yet, but like coming up, it'll probably be as we get closer to Alaska. But it's actually a rule that they have. I think that's pretty cool. I don't know if it's for Maybe they just don't want it. It's supposed to be like peaceful, or maybe they want it to don't want to disturb the wildlife. I'm not exactly sure, but either way, I think it sounds like a good idea. Look at Kayla over here enjoying the hot tub. Living her best life. You can actually see so the North Star. There are complimentary um, sessions, but you can pay for the extended experience where. The, it actually like, goes over to the side of the ship, or you can just like basically go straight up and down. And I'll show you some footage of it here. We're going to be doing that on day six while we're at the Endicott Dawes Glacier. Um, so that should be really cool. We booked it right away. I don't know if it was a mistake to book during the glacier time or like the smartest thing to do, but we'll find out. Uh, if you're enjoying the vlog so far today, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to Sitka, Juneau, Skagway, and Ketchikan. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, we're going can, canoe or kayak to Glacier in Juneau and then we're doing the uh, White Pass Scenic Railway in Skagway. Those are supposed to be amazing. I can't wait. We're going to take like little vials of the water uh, that we get from the glacier and like drink it and stuff. It should be a really good trip. So make sure to like and subscribe and uh, follow along. Okay, so if you watched our last vlog, we did the Ryan and Kayla. Olympics 1.0. Mm -hmm. Kayla was the champion. When your girl came out on top. She did. Mm -hmm. She crushed me. It came down to a Shooter McGavin style mini putt. I don't know what happened to me yeah. that day. Kayla I don't know what I had it. for breakfast that day, but it was good. Kayla killed it. But as the uh, defending Raining champ, champ, yep, I'll pick. A... I'll pick the first game. So I'll do. I'm picking air hockey here. So we're in the Cplex. It's pretty awesome in here, but. The production of the Ryan and Kayla Olympics getting pretty serious. We got the GoPro <laughs> on the window, and we're going to uh, play, and then we'll see if we can capture some of the uh, some of the footage of the game. Me crushing it. No, I'm not going to say that because I said that during foosball last time. And guys, I think table games. Like, I got to win this. I suck at table games, so I have to. Oh, except flip cup. <laughs> <laughs> except flip cup. Yeah. Okay. Actually, if we played that, that'd be pretty fun. That would be hilarious. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 
time at the arcade. <laughs> I gotta say, that was uh, pretty intense. I know, I'm a little PO'd though. Freaking table games, damn it. Yeah, you were uh, myself, pretty good at this, like, eh? It's not your first time playing this game. I played a lot of arcade games as a kid, I, I was a loser. <laughs> I felt like there was maybe some like marital anger you were trying no. to throw my way in that game. Like, they were coming no, I just wanted to come in with a win for the, you know Team Kayla, but they were, coming we were like hot. Tom Brady. We like <laughs> to work under pressure and we like to oh, come okay. back yeah, from, yeah. you know. Nice. We like to work for it. We don't like to just walk into the wins. What do you think our next game will be? I was like, there's so many games, I have no idea. Uh, we've already done foosball, so that's lame. Won't be um, today. Won't be today. Yeah, I'm sweating. That was an intense game. Uh, what are we going to be our next game? I think maybe if they ever clear the sports court, we could do basketball. Yeah, like a game of pig would be fun. Mm -hmm. Did you play basketball as a kid? Never in a league. Okay. I played like on a school team, but like when I was like six. <laughs> Probably the same, yeah. yeah. Well, guys, it's one for the good guys here. Oh. One nothing on the path to redemption. <laughs> okay, Ryan's gonna play. He's gonna show you like how cool he is. It's so cool oh, right now. Easy? Medium? I mean, like this you're a gamer. This one's legendary. You have to go hard. Look, this one. Okay, we let, we let the galaxy down. Okay, so there's so much going on in that game. I don't even know like if I was steering properly or how to work it, but yeah. it's pretty nuts it looks in fun, there. Though. I yeah. like the screen because it reminds me of being like, remember at Disney World where they have like those, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those where like you're a, not really on a ride. Those like yeah. immersive yeah. And stuff. Yeah. That's what it reminds sure. me of. It's yeah, it was fun. a lot of fun. It was two bucks. Two bucks? Okay, not bad. Okay, now that I'm done failing the galaxy. Yeah. What do we do next? Uh, what time is it? 10.30? Mm. I think, yeah, it's 10.30, so we got the yeah. uh, ripcord next, but we're gonna head up At to the noon. front of the ship, probably. We haven't been up there yet? I kind of just wanted to do some general exploring on some yeah. of the decks, so we'll do that for a bit, and then we got the iFly coming up. So we're just doing some general exploring. We came across uh, vintages. vintages on our way to Cafe 270, but check how cool this is. The wine station. So if you just want to try like an ounce, like so this is a uh, pretty expensive bottle of Cab Sauv, but if you just want to try like an ounce, you can just pay seven bucks, you get your little ounce, try it. If you like, you could buy, you know, more or a bottle. That's pretty cool. You can like, do like this whole wine tasting. Of wine. So you basically do your own wine tasting and you just like hold your card up here and they have red, they've got white, they've got all sorts of stuff. So if you're not sure if you want to buy a bottle, you can just come pay three bucks, try it before you invest, you know, 50 or 60 bucks. Wow, the Cafe 270 area on the ship is actually like, it's, really nice. it's a gem, it's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll have to grab, grab our coffees, but there's a bingo going on in here mm -hmm. like soon, so I don't know if we'll stay, but I'll show you around, but. It's beautiful in here. I really like what they've done here. A I guess. A lot of windows. Yeah. You're a lot closer to the water too, so you can actually see how big the swells are today, so it makes yeah. sense why the pool is like thrashing Yeah, I'll show you, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've been on one this rough before, um, but like it's again, it's just not really bothering me, but um, yeah. it's more kind of funny than anything. Yeah. <laughs> um, Human bumper cars in the yeah. hallways, you know. But here, check out Cafe 270.
Okay, don't remember exactly where we left off, but we came to the uh, Esplanade in the, to get our coffee. <laughs> Because uh, we couldn't get it at Cafe 270. We think we might have been closed at the time. They were only serving alcohol. Uh, but anyway, there's a bunch of sales going on right now. So I kind of wanted to show you what they have. And they have some really good uh, Alaskan t-shirts and jackets. These are just like standard cruising t-shirts. Make... Make view is the oh, best wake view. Oh, make view is the best view. I like this one. It's just a standard oil one. Lame. But then it has like all, all the, the ships, ships on the way back. That's on cool. the back, sorry. Uh, cruising through life one point at a time. That's like our motto. <laughs> and then like some kids' shirts. Yeah. Pretty good. And the jackets I was looking at are nice because nice. they are. This one's 90 bucks. It's got a <laughs> liner on the inside. I don't know if it's, there's a removable liner, but it's pretty good. It is now. What time is it, Kayla? Time for the ripcord I fly. It is. I fly time. We're yeah. going skydiving on a cruise ship. Skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let me know if uh, you guys have done this. What if you you're think? good at it. It's worth it. Yeah. We did have to pay. How much was it? Uh, I think this one was like 29 bucks or something. That person. sounds about it's right. Not a big deal. And then after, I can't wait to get food. Kayla wouldn't let me eat before because you know I'm probably just gonna sink to the know. bottom. Yeah, you want to stay light, you know, so you float. There, we'll eat after. We'll celebrate yeah, after. There's the that worst thing dog. you could do is throw up in that thing. That would yeah. be the worst. And there's that hot dog place I want to try, so that probably wouldn't be good. But I need to have the hot dog, and then I think we're going to the main dining room, right? Yeah, I think we're gonna check out lunch. We never give main dining room a real chance for lunch, and I, I hear it's really good. Yeah. So we're we'll gonna try, but let's do this. I fly first. So I don't even think we I can do this one. I had to sign like, a waiver. Definitely don't think I can do that Basically one. Basically agreeing to... To die. To death. <laughs> Suiting up, Kill. Yep. <laughs> we just did our safety briefing. Now we're getting on our jumpsuits. And uh, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> we're ready. So we can't we can't take the GoPro or the camera or anything with us because we're actually in the wind tunnel. The wind tunnel. So, so we'll go and then we'll film other people afterwards. But and we'll see. I think there's some royal people that are able to take our picture for us, so that we'll uh, we'll show a picture. Show some if we, pictures. Yeah, we get it. And uh, yeah, this should be a lot of fun. Yeah, and we look so stupid. Wish us luck. <laughs> As you can see, we yeah. convinced them to let us put our GoPro. I, yeah, so I brought outside. the GoPro up by it was kind of by the flow rider and I stuck it to the glass. So we'll have to look at the footage later to see like if one I if I can good. zoom it in or you can even like tell <laughs> what's going on. It was but, fun. Yeah, it was a, a really good fun. time. It's one of those things where you, you might need to do a few times because you're just like you go in and you're like Nervous. like what the hell is like happening right now because you're that you're focusing on like so many different body positions and then Trying next to thing you know, like, <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I, Kayla did really well. She was on her own. The second time I did, better. I know that I like struggled. Yeah, so the first, so they let you do it twice. So you do like the first round. Everybody gets to go once, and you get one minute. Then everyone gets to go a second time. You get one minute. So I, the second time I was better. Yeah, it's not like scary or anything. No. So don't worry if like that's a concern. And there was a yeah. little girl who did it too. Oh, she killed it. Yeah, She's and so uh, I just think it. Yeah, it was. Oh, I can actually see. I have a goggle face right now. But <laughs> yeah, we have a little bit of <laughs> goggle face, tough. helmet head. Yeah. They give you everything you need. So just make sure they made me take off my wedding ring and leave it in my bag. Yeah, so everything has to come off basically. So if you have a very expensive wedding ring, I would suggest maybe leaving it in your safe in your room. <laughs> yeah. So overall it was really fun. I definitely do it at least once. And then like if you want to like actually get good at it, you might need to do it a few times. Yeah. But we're gonna go uh, Eat. I wanted to try one of these hot dogs in the uh, C Plex and then we're gonna go to the main dining room. Oh, 
trying to come all the way to this hot dog stand to get a plain hot dog with Yeah, sorry, but the uh, amount of ketchup it came up kind of fast there. But yeah, so I got the classic hot dog on the everything bun. Just ketchup. Let's see how it is. Pretty good. Not bad. Good little snack. Okay, that was a good little appetizer. We're gonna head down to level three, deck three, and we're gonna have some main dining room for lunch. Starving. Yeah, they didn't have gluten free for Kayla in the Windjammer. Unless you request it, I'm sure they could, but not readily available. So we're just gonna order from the main dining room. We are taking the elevator. It's down though, it's, so it's fine. It's down, so it doesn't really count, but Check look, this at, out. Like, look at this art and like, frig, these elevators are amazing. Shouldn't be uh, in the end of your afraid of heights. It's kind of a reflection, but <laughs> yeah. it goes way down. It's amazing. So we are in the American, American Icon, Icon Grill. Grill restaurant. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of nice. It's uh, We're in the Grand for dinner, so it's kind of nice that for lunch we can experience one of the other restaurants. Mm -hmm. I'm sure too, if we requested to have dinner in another one, it'd be fine, but... Yeah. The other ones were rented out for private events. Yeah, it today, like there so. was like a wedding or something going on. Yeah, I'm not sure, but uh, American Icon Grill is pretty nice. Pretty nice. So I noticed on the menu they still have the classics. Mm -hmm. So they had, I got mozza sticks, steak treats. Big sip of water there. Yeah, I took mozza sticks, steak mm -hmm. frites, which are both classics. They don't have classics on the dinner menu anymore. Yeah. And then I got I, key lime I pie. I hate that. I like that. It makes you like kind of come yeah. out of the box a little bit because we, we were on Enchantment of the Seas in May last year, and our table mates ate the exact same thing every single day: steak. Yeah, on the classic menu. Yeah. Every classic, every single night, same food. Yeah. So, Let me know what you guys think of the new menu and see if you like the uh, if you like how it's you know kind of smaller options. Seems like smaller portions so far. And uh, without the classics, or do you prefer to have it the old way? I just want to show you this one thing that's really cool in the American Icon Grill. You see how you can see the girl like running on the pavement there? But as I come across, you can't really see the image anymore. Pretty cool, eh? Alright, Kayla, what'd you get there? I got the chef to make me a gluten free butternut squash risotto. It's very good. It's like got chunks of. I think feta cheese and then chunks of butternut squash. Um, it's, it's good and it's very hot. I, the potato soup I had was really good too. I got the steak and free mm -hmm. truffle fries. The truffle fries I know so I want to have one of these like truffle fries. <laughs> Much good. Let's see about the steak. Okay, yeah, as for medium rare, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Nice. What a nice little seat this has been. I was just saying to Kayla, like, normally we're just like kind of hanging out by the pool. We do a couple activities, but you know, we got up really early, saw the sunset. It's kind of felt like just like, oh, sunrise, sorry. And we, you know, it's only 1.30, and we feel like we've done a lot. It feels like 6 p.m. I feel like I'm eating dinner right now. I know, right? So we might need to take another nap today just to, just to power through. We don't nap. But we're just... Uh, you know, enjoying our meal here in the main dining room. Try we... not to eat too much because we have Jamie's tonight. So. Oh yeah, Jamie's and formal night tonight. Oh god, formal night. <laughs> I'm eating risotto. Yeah. <laughs> Got to, uh, I brought a suit jacket this time around, so put that on, and uh, should be nice. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, cold and rainy now. We're officially in Alaska territory, I think. Yeah, welcome to Alaska. Mm -hmm. Kind of foggy too. So yeah, it really fogged over. Crazy. Weather changed like. Who would have thought just yesterday we were. We were uh, sun tanning. I think I might have got a little sunburn from yesterday actually. It's crazy. Yeah, it was really hot yesterday. Now I'm freezing. <laughs> now it's like we, we walked out the sliding door and it's like, it was like instant Whoa. like temperature drop. It was crazy. Very cold. What are you doing there, Kayla? Are you? We're videotaping me. Yep. We are deck eight. I just ate we risotto. Got you can't even throw hate my way. Four to go. Two more flights to go. Gotta make room for all those Jamies climbing yeah. 12 flights of stairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got a little cruise. A little bunny. Little towel animal. A is he a bunny? bunny? I don't know if he's a bunny. What is he? He looks like a bunny. Those are bunny ears. Oh, okay. I think. No? Yeah. Mm. He's a little nose. 
Okay. He was a dog? We are going to relax for a bit, maybe take a nap, charge some of our batteries. Physically, mentally, and camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe sit on the balcony. Uh, we're gonna recharge for the formal night. Uh, I think the original game plan is we're gonna check out vintages, mm -hmm. go to the Diamond Club. I haven't been there yet. We haven't been on this ship. Uh, yeah. And and then we'll head to Jamie's later. So Next take a quick time. snooze and uh, see you in a bit. Yeah. We are just getting ready for dinner. We had a nice nap. I don't really know, you know you know when you have those naps you're not really sure whether you fell asleep or not? That's the kind of nap I had. I just wanted to come out here and show you how foggy it is. Check this out. It's kind of hoping that we'd be able to see a whale at some point from our balcony. Or just from the ship in general. Uh, we didn't book any whale watching excursions, so... The guy on the ship though said they saw like six whales from on the last sea day on the way back. So we're kind of hoping... Ooh, ship's moving. So we're kind of hoping that that's uh, when we'll be able to see one. We walked by this, uh, I was in Cafe 270 earlier, and we walked by this desk that had kind of like a port shopping guide. And it's like, yeah, port shopping, whatever, we don't really do much. But what they do have on there is actually like, let me pull one up and show you. Like here's Skagway, for example. And we are doing the White Pass Scenic Railway there, and it says it's A, so we know for our excursion, we need to go right there. We also wanted to check out the Red Onion, and that is number eight, so we know that that's right there. So they gave one out for every port, so we have Sitka, Juno, Skagway, and Ketchikan. It's worth going to pick up, if, especially if you're not sure uh, where you're going, but it's nice to have a little handy map we'll just take with us uh, every time we leave. Okay, and we're ready for formal night. We uh, got dressed up tonight. We're going to Jamie's, as you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go to Vintages in the Diamond Lounge first. Just, just check uh, out. That whole, like, taking the, I think it's called the Via, into the, like, where the Jamie's is and the Vintages. It's all a really nice area, very pretty. Like, all the aesthetics on the ship, very nice. They have, like, little sculptures and that sort of thing around. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. I like the theme. I like yeah. the theme of the ship. Okay, so let's uh, get this night going. I'm excited to go to Vintages. Now, Kayla and I get a free photo each, so we might stop and do a photo with Royal Caribbean. That, plus I also want to see, I don't think they did, but I wonder if they took pictures, like embarrassing, jowly, crazy, <laughs> yeah, mouth open, like, eye fly pictures, because that would be hilarious. Yeah, enough. or if they do it for the North Star too, that'd be great. Yeah. But we'll have to check. Yeah. So we are here at Vintages. Um, the nice thing is we can use the diamond voucher and then like pay the difference for like a more expensive glass. So I got this. Uh, I'm not a big wine connoisseur, but uh, a Molo Merlot. And Kayla knows her stuff a bit more. She got the Behringer, what I think, Cab Sauv. So yeah, it's a twenty dollar glass of wine, but with the diamond voucher, you get up to fourteen. So we only have to pay six bucks, which is really nice. Okay, Kayla, go ahead and try yours. Okay, so I got a, what was it called again? Behringer, Behringer. Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah. It was a little bit more expensive, which is kind of why I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> Although you could give me like an $11 bottle of wine, I'd be like, tastes yeah, good. Yeah, probably wouldn't notice. It depends, <laughs> right? I just, I like the Cab Sauv because like it's, it's a heavy wine. So. Yeah. All right, what do you think? Nice. It's really nice. It's really smooth, actually. Like really smooth it's not um you know sometimes when you have that red wine it kind of like makes you feel like there's a film yeah this doesn't have that it's so nice it's Thank good you. yeah it's very nice okay Ryan. Okay. i'm gonna pretend i know what i'm talking about yes how are the legs i feel people just say great legs yeah great legs good body yep. the wine's good too <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like my wine like not very dry, like 
find if the wine is dry for me, it gets me like um, acid reflux kind of. This is smooth. I like it. It's good. So I was just thinking, it's like if we ever go to a place where it's like a true wine excursion, I would love to be like doing the I Love Lucy thing, like in the vat of grapes, stepping on them, squishing them with my toes, and yeah, like making wine. that would be a lot of fun. Remember in Italy we went to Tennessee? We didn't do that. But we didn't we, do that, but we saw like we wine making yeah. and stuff, and like you my grandfather what? made wine his whole life, so yeah, I would love to make our own. Actually, there's like uh, the Pacific Coast cruises, I think, go down and do like the wine country. They do like uh, uh, San Francisco, LA, whatever else is over there. <laughs> I know, I know there's a Pacific Coast cruise that I'd love to take. I'd actually like to do so. This cruise just came from Hawaii up to uh, Vancouver. Well, like it went, yeah, it was Australia first, and then Hawaii, and then Vancouver. And I was just saying, I'd love to do like. Hawaii to LA to San Francisco up to Vancouver. That'd be a really good cruise. Oh, the Diamond Lounge? Free specialty coffee? Little nibbles. Let's go. Mm -hmm. It feels crazy that we're in here. We've I know. We've talked about the Diamond Lounge for so We've never really come in here that much. No, we technically have been diamond for two cruises. This two carnival. Two, sorry, two royal cruises. Yeah. But we didn't really spend a lot of time in it last time because we were cruising with our friends and they couldn't come with us. So this is our true first diamond club experience. Yeah. And check it out. They got chicken wings in here. Awesome. And just like little cheeses and things like that. Look at salad. We have spent like an hour in here. It's nice. Yeah, I like it's it. It's nice. Nice and relaxing. The, um, not only that, Kayla got a free drink because they we didn't use her did. diamond voucher earlier. Oh yeah, we both did. So I guess when we were in the main dining room earlier, I don't think they cashed in on one of our vouchers. So Yay. I got a Foster's beer, which is like a good quality. Like if you're gonna get like a free drink or a discounted drink, it's a massive can. It's like two beers in one. And then Kayla got a dirty the Grey Goose martini. martini. This might be the dirtiest, filthiest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I am so excited. Go ahead and drink it. Yeah. The world is watching. The world is watching. <laughs> the boat is moving so much I can't. No, you know what? It looks dirtier than it tastes. Like it's really smooth. Like it's a nice balance. It's not as like briny as I thought it was going to be. And I think because there's like pieces of olives in it, I think they actually muddled the olives. So you're getting like a nice olive taste without like the too salty olive juice. Okay, okay. Serious question. Who does the dirty Grey Goose Martini better? Carnival or Royal? I think Kayla's a carny, guys. <laughs> Watch when it comes out. To drinks. <laughs> I actually got us right on the uh, right Via. Via. Oh, yeah, area. the Via. Right in front of Vintages. Yeah, not what I expected, but you know, it's it open. Was, it was busy inside, and I think if we went inside, we would have been at one of those tables that has like four or like whatever people. So, oh, it's possible. Yeah. yeah. So I think this is okay. good. Okay, first up, the ultimate garlic bread. It's very warm. It uh, smells really good. I can smell it from here. It's really soft and I hate you so much right now. Oh my freaking god. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We'll do the uh, arancini. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's good. I think there's a bit of mushroom. Yeah, it's mushroom. Mm. It's pretty good. Not as good as uh, what your family makes, but... Yeah. Oh. yeah. It's, it's classic. Homemade is always mm -hmm. best. Cheese. It's smaller than I remember, like the amount they give you about. I think we ordered like 12 of them last time because there was like 10 of us. So. I see. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so I got a gluten free bruschetta. So there's really no cute way to eat this, so. It looks pretty good for gluten free, I gotta say. Mm -hmm. It's 
pretty good. It's not like the bread's not toasted, but it's really good. Not toasted, eh? That's kind of weird for bruschetta. It is, but still good, I guess. Still good. Holy crap, guys! Look at all this food we got here. We have the short rib. We have the carbonara. Regular. The truffle fries. Posh well, fries and polenta fries. Polenta fries. And Kayla, what do you got? Carbonara, gluten free, free carbonara, and it's fantastic. She's in heaven, guys. All right, Kayla, <laughs> bring us through. How are the polenta bites? Okay, well, we have all the cheese apparently on one, but oh, yeah. <laughs> shave some of that off there. They're very hot, so I'm a little afraid to just like go, you know, ham on them, but they're very crispy. Good. Very hot. <laughs> this is the tiniest bite, so it's hard to say, but Oh wow, you took that one down, eh? Dead for you guys. <laughs> That's a like and subscribe right there. <laughs> She's struggling. They're so hot. <laughs> They're burning the top of your mouth. <laughs> so cute. They're <laughs> Guys, we're gonna take a brief break. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. I'm so sorry. You guys had to see that. I wait. I, was it good? I overcommitted to a way bigger bite than I thought, and it was piping hot on the inside. I no longer have taste buds. My oh, entire inside that. of my mouth is burnt. It was very good though. Yeah. Very How's good. How's the pasta? The pasta is amazing. I'm very happy with it. Posh fries are great. How's yours, Ryan? Yeah, as you can tell, the short rib is amazing because I just like devoured it. <laughs> like it just got here. It's really good. I wanted to go with the burger, but his recommendation was the short rib, so why not? Really yeah, it is. It's really like Have just breaks. It just falls apart. No. Right here. So Ryan got regular carbonara, obviously. Yeah. With, with some bacon. bacon. Yeah. That slaps. That's good. It slaps. All right. Somehow I'm expected to eat a dessert now. <laughs> so, epic brownie sounds pretty good. Classic tiramisu always probably pretty good. I think we get one free beverage. I have to look into that with the diamond, uh, not diamond, the, uh, with the uh, dinner purchase. I don't know. I feel like we'd have to ask. Yeah. So what dessert are you going with? I honestly want to die, <laughs> so I don't think I can eat dessert. If I have like, a gun to my head, I'd probably go with like a sorbet, something light. Guys, so, like, listen, listen to this brownie. Chocolate sauce, salted caramel, popcorn, gelato, and caramelized popcorn. I mean, if I wasn't like confined to my disease of celiac, I would be 100% getting probably the classic tiramisu. Okay, maybe I'll get both. Since I can't get anything because I might die, I think you should get both. Okay, yeah. guys, this is the epic brownie. Wow. I just gotta get like a closer look at this brownie. Yes. I want that. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. How are you? That's good stuff. Yeah. How's the ice cream? Salted caramel. Yeah, it's got salted caramel on it. It's so it's warm still, which is nice. Yes. And very soft. The popcorn gives a nice little crunch. Something, yeah. Crunch. Texture. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. So we just came out to uh, check out the sights. Gila is freezing. I'm cold. I'm cold. I'm cold. <laughs> I was I also just took off my shoes, and I don't think they're ever gonna go back on. So <laughs> I might need to go put my flip flops on. I was just sweating after that big meal. Oh my it was a god! Big, big meal. I'm very full. Yeah. I didn't even. I couldn't even do dessert. He was like, "Come on, you could do it." I was like, I, yeah. "Sir, I can't breathe." <laughs>
It was very good. Yeah. If you haven't tried Jamie's or Giovanni's is pretty similar. Uh, so give that a try if you haven't already. But the specialty restaurants, Royal Caribbean, very good. We, we also have Wonderland and we'll probably do a Zoomy and oh, Solarium Zoomy. Bistro. So we're gonna hit them all. So make sure to follow us if you wanna see those specialty like restaurants. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, like and subscribe. And uh, tomorrow we're in Sitka. And uh, we're gonna finish up the night with, what are we gonna do? We got one, drink. we got one more diamond voucher. There is the, um, show. The, majority the, rules. the Majority Rules show. There is the headliner, What a Night. Although, Kaylin, I think so we've late. seen that one back on the Enchantment, we actually. Uh, we may they check it out. It something else, but yeah. we've seen it. We're going to check it out, maybe for a little bit, and then see if it's different. But if it's the same one, we'll probably leave. There's also the Spectra's Cabaret. It is sold out, but the guy came on the announcement, the cruise director, he came on the announcement and said um, they will always accommodate extra guests. We have it booked for another night, too, so I'm not yeah, terribly worried. Yeah, because it's showing on 2, 4, and 6. So if we don't catch it tonight, we'll definitely catch it another night. So we're just going to... Uh, Walk around the ship a little bit, find Walk the next place to <laughs> yeah, get our steps in. <laughs> and uh, we can't believe how bright it is. So it's eight. What time is it? Eight. Eight o'clock. Fifteen right now. And but it's really eleven fifteen. Yeah, it's eleven us. fifteen our time. <laughs> and actually tonight it goes back another hour, so Yikes. it'll be four <laughs> hours ahead. Oh my God! Kill so me. Make sure you uh, prepare yourself with a little sleep uh, Start getting, schedule like, less and less sleep so that or no just get, like go to bed earlier or or however earlier. however your time change works yeah. just you know prepare prepare yeah Wow. <laughs> or just wow. wow. Spectre's Cabaret, I gotta put it down as a must see. I would 100% agree. Like, first things first, they say you have to make reservations, and you technically do, but the cruise director came on. He came on the announcement earlier in the day and said they'll always accommodate people if they want to come to the show. So Some people don't show up, some people cancel. We did come 20 minutes early, we got a really good seat. <laughs> Kind of stole maybe a seat, but I'm not sorry. No, it wasn't it was even. Uh, the, it, it wasn't even full, it so full. it was great. Yeah. The show was incredible. The dancers, oh my god. Oh, and uh, they were so good. So good. Like, the singers too. Like you should have heard them. They're like perfect in harmony. It was like amazing. Yeah, it was amazing, and like not just entertainment-wise, like amazing, but like. I don't, like I don't know if I've ever yeah. mentioned that I used to dance as a kid, but like technically, like every window was perfect. Every, like the synchronicity was amazing. Like everyone was yeah. in time. I did notice they were it like yeah doing things at the same time. It was incredible, and they included it was like different too because there was like a robot. Uh, they were using like TV screens, and there was like a robot in the in the like uh, in the show. I don't know if like you'll be able to see it from the the footage that I'll show you, but it was really cool. They used a lot of like the LED screens to add to the production of the overall show. Give them the, a second to change. The stage was like popping out of the ground and they were like going below areas you didn't even think was possible. And it was very well done, like a, a real production. Overall, like so far on the shows, like if you're going to see one show so far, it's Definitely come see Spectre's it. Cabaret. Yeah. And uh, I forgot to mention what happened to us the tonight, Kayla. The coolest friggin' thing ever happened. <laughs> Someone came up to us and said, are you Ryan and Kayla from YouTube? <laughs> they recognized <laughs> us from our Navigator of the Seas vlog, which yep. is really cool. That's the first time ever yep. in Ryan and Kayla history that we've been special. randomly recognized on a cruise ship. Yep. So. Anyway, this isn't as much of a brag as it is a thank you. Mm -hmm. um, there are yeah. a lot of cruise channels out there and we just want to thank you for being a part of you know our channel. The and best one. <laughs> yeah. We love creating the videos, creating it for ourselves and for you guys and just sharing the information and any tips and tricks we learned along the way and we hope we've made your cruising better. experience better and 
We just want to thanks again and and if you see us, come say hello. Yeah, we're not gonna be like we're gonna be like oh my god. Definitely, hi. definitely say hello. <laughs> yeah, more, say hello to Kayla. She's especially the more talkative me. one. <laughs> especially me, but like also say hi to Ryan. <laughs> yeah, and on that note, hit the like and subscribe if you want to yes. see more cruise content. And uh, I think that's it for us because. I'm exhausted. Yeah, it My is. My feet are yeah. killing me. Roughly 1 a.m. our time. Um, I think the only thing left for us is we got one more diamond voucher drink that we plan on using, but we're not really sure uh, where we're gonna go. But we're gonna close with the vlog for tonight. We got Sitka tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The cruise uh, comes in at 11, so we'll be able to get off at approximately 11:30. Yeah. And we're doing the Raptor Center, so we're doing bears, bald, bald eagles, eagles, and totems excursion tomorrow. So that should be a lot of fun. Yeah. Maybe catch some good uh, good footage with this new camera. So yeah, here's hoping that Sitka isn't too rainy tomorrow and that yep. the fog kind of lets up. Yeah, that'd be great. Oh, and it's looking like it has outside right now. It's smoother than uh, than yeah, it was the earlier. Seas, the seas have definitely calmed, so yeah. that's good. <laughs> All right. But we'll see you guys in the morning. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.